Hey everyone on YouTube, MMA Analysis here from MMA Socialist to give you guys UFC 130 predictions. You, uh, if you want to check out my Bellator predictions, I'll put a little link in the description. Uh, check out MMA Socialist, I'm doing this before the end of the video because I got something sp special for you guys. And uh, also check out my Twitter. Uh, my link doesn't work when I give you guys a link, Joe. Uh, so uh, I say uh, just search me up on Twitter and you'll find me. Uh, okay, so main card. I don't do prelims, so uh, main card. Uh, Brian Stan versus Jorge Santiago. Now Jorge Santiago went one and two back in uh, 2006 and was released five years ago. So now he's been re he's been re he's been uh, resigned. To the UFC to fight Brian Stan, who is coming off a TKO, TKO win over Chris Levin, which in this fight I'm gonna pick Brian Stan because if you can strike with a guy like Chris Levin, you, so you're doing something right. You know Chris Levin is an excellent striker, an excellent power, has excellent power and excellent you know striking capabilities. So I'm gonna pick Brian Stan by a TKO or a TKO or a uh, knockout. Uh, next fight of the night will be Stefan Strew versus Travis Brown. Yes. The Battle of the Giants, uh, six eleven versus a six six seven guy. Uh, so Brown's last fight was a draw against uh, Chuck Congo, which Chuck Congo would have won the fight if he didn't grab his shorts. So I'm technically I'm technically gonna add that put that as a loss because Chuck Congo won the fight by a by two, won two rounds out of that fight. So I'm gonna still go. So I still count that as a loss. So I, I say he's one and one in the UFC. Uh, so, and Stefan Struve's coming off a win over Sean McCorkle, uh, in the, where I think he, I think he stopped him in the first round, I haven't seen that in a while, I haven't seen the UFC 124, uh, fights, uh, so I'm gonna pick Stefan Struve, mainly because of the reach, and, you know, Travis Brown, there's, he has weak, a lot of weaknesses, and so does Stefan Struve, you know, Stefan Struve doesn't have the best, you know, best chin, if you see his fights with, like, with, uh, Roy Nelson, and, you know, um, Pat Paul Buntuela, even though he won the fight between Paul Buntuela, uh, he still got rocked and almost lost the fight. All right, moving on to the not uh, to uh, Tiago Alves versus Rick Story, and you know what? I I want to go with my Washington native of uh, Rick Story, but I don't see him winning the fight against Tiago Alves. Only if if Rick Story can wrestle with Tiago Alves then he will have a good chance of winning. If you see Tiago Alves' biggest weakness, and it's, it is wrestling. So I'm just going to pick uh, Tiago Alves via TKO in the second or first round. Co-main event, Frank Mir versus Roy Nelson. These guys went, were in a jiu-jitsu grappling tournament where Roy Nelson won mainly because of the big size, you know, bigger weight on Frank Mir. But this is different. This is mixed martial arts where Frank Mir can, you, you know, use his... Striking, even though his striking has lacked in you know his last couple of fights, you know if you look at his fight with um, Mirko Krokop and the fight with uh, Shane Carwin, his striking has re been reduced to a you know really low. You know if you look at his last, if you look at the fights with Brock Lesnar, if the second fight he he could have won in the second round, but he didn't. You know he tried kneeing him. He was winning the striking bet. He was winning standing up, and if you know he could have won, but he didn't. Because he did the wrong move, he still has striking capabilities, but I don't. I think he's afraid to use them. So, but I'm still gonna go with Frank Mir via unanimous decision or a late, you know, a late submission. Now, main event: Quentin Rampage Jackson versus Matt the Hammer Hamill. Uh, Matt Hamill, fan, a big fan favorite. He's always been a fan favorite. He's an easy guy to root for. Uh, deaf. He's deaf. Uh, and his story is very is a very a story that you know you can use to say that that this guy's story influenced me, but he's going against a guy you know. Quentin Rampage Jackson has lost a lot of interest in fighting. You know he can, he says he's uh you know not really he doesn't have those like that uh will to fight like he did in Pride days where he was fighting for uh, you know fighting for like respect, but now he's fighting for money, so it looks like he doesn't really care that much anymore. But I'm still gonna go with Quentin Rampage Jackson mainly because his takedown defense is. Excellent. Even though, if you look at his fights with, oh, sorry, if you look at his fight with uh, Rashard Evans, that's after a long time layoff. You know, he's had, a, he hasn't had, a, he's coming off back from uh, having a win over Leo Tomichita, but you know, he won that fight. 
and uh, a lot of people don't agree with it. But um, I'm still going to go with him w with, to win this fight uh, by a te 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 technical knockout or knockout, mainly because of the takedown events he'll use against Matt Hamill, because Matt Hamill is basically, he, he wrestles a lot, even though he has a couple wins by a knockout. So, there's something special for you guys. Uh, I want to give a congratulations to class of 2011, and uh, go do something with your lives, but you don't take my job, that's my job, all right? I'll see you guys later. I'll let the music go on for a little bit more, and uh, I'll uh, put a post fight, uh, post fight when it's done. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.